Hey, how's it going guys? Domino Paris 21 here and back with another sale video for you all for March 2015. So being that the first sale video I actually did for my channel about in January and such um, was actually pretty successful, I thought to go ahead and give you guys another chance to pretty much own one of the decks that I uh, that I played. Um, so yeah, uh, once again, that's got to downsize a little bit more to um, basically make room for newer decks that I am um, I am looking at making and to also help fund those decks as well. And of course, seeing that you know I am taking classes full time and and working full time, I don't have as much as I used to in terms of playing as many tournaments as I possibly can each on a weekly basis. So I definitely have to cut down a bit on, on that department. But yes, um, so you see here, I do have four Vanguard decks here for you guys, and for any Buddy Fight players out there, um, I do have a few Buddy Fight decks I'm looking at getting rid of. Uh, some of these decks, uh, it's a little bit hard for me to let go, but honestly, I just haven't been touching a lot of my decks recently, except my new ones that I am testing out for you guys, and I'm only going to keep building more, so might as well just uh, let these decks, you know, fall into another person's hands to pretty much give them opportunity to, to enjoy, so uh, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and just brief you guys a bit on the procedures, um, it's going to be PayPal only, no other way, I will not take any fo other form of payment outside of PayPal, um, and please message me on YouTube and message me on Facebook um, as far as um, any offers or just interest goes. Uh, please do not comment on the video. I will. Uh, I most likely will ignore it if you comment on the video. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, that, that's that. And any more details, please read description below. Uh, I will have more details on that. So yeah, um, without further ado, let me actually go ahead and run down the decks for you guys. So first, um, I do have my Narakami Brawlers. Um, I do have first the four Knuckle Buster and the four uh, Bing Bang Dragon for Grade Threes. Um, then you have, of course, you know four of each of the mates uh, for them. And then you have the four three Lian. I like the or Lisen Lise, excuse me. I like the Lise. It kind of gives you another just more uh, units that share the ability as your other mates of gaining plus three when they when your uh, unit hits it's just another power card to have so definitely like that card um then three perfect guards and a one quintet your four arc three of your drop and draw kome and three rising phoenix and then uh triggers just your kind of basic 8 crit, 4 draw, and 4 heal, along with the uh, Spark Kid. Um, let's see. So that's that. Next, I have my Bloody Ogre. Uh, Spike Brother Duck. You have your 4 Bloody Ogre, 4 Bad End Draggers. Uh, I think it's the same as my deck profile for the most part. I didn't really change much. Four Frozen Ogre, Mr. Brokenness himself. Uh, two Dudley Mason. Uh, three Silver Blaze. Two Zachary and the one Dumbo Big Brother Man. Um, then you have your four Cheer Girl Marilyn. Four Machine Gun Gloria. Three Reckless Express. Two Gary Gannon. And as far as the triggers are concerned, um, six Crit. And your six draw, your four healed. I personally still like the six, uh, six, uh, six crit, six draw, and the one mecha trainer. So, uh, Spike Brothers has definitely been a long time deck of mine, and it's gonna be free, it's gonna be kind of weird not having them anymore. But you know, kind of like I said, I have to downsize on a few things and get some priorities straight on some of my decks. And then next, I have my Prominence Glare deck. Uh, this deck is actually. Um, you know, it's actually one of my more competitive decks that I am letting go. Um, this deck actually won me a cash tournament and definitely uh, helped me win a decent amount of locals for as long as I played this deck. So this deck is actually really good. Still very fun to play. Um, you have your four Glare, of course. Uh, four Percival. Uh, great twos. You have your four of each um, Aglavale. Uh, the two Lawful Trumpeter, and I do have the one Tech uh, Maron, um, just kind of like a great three searcher when she's called from the deck. Really nice, just to try and get another uh, Glare search essentially, uh, without any use of any other resources like Soul Blasting or Counter Blasting. Uh, then you have your four Perfect Guards, four Bruno, three Josephus, and two Zoran. And then, as triggers are concerned, you have your Catch Calls. 
flame, uh, four flame of victories, and then two other crits for heals, and then I do have two stars in the deck. And next is um, this one is probably my hardest deck to really let go, and that's my dark regulars. Um, but like I said, guys, I don't really attend locals as often anymore. Uh, I used to attend like three times a week, but now I'm attending maybe one, maybe two, barely twice, and like once a week now. So I don't really have time to rotate between all my decks. And like I said, you know, I have a little bit more priorities where you know I have to cut back a bit. So this was one of the decks I did have to choose to let go. And um, yeah, you guys know like Dark Rake is one of my favorite clans, but you know, don't worry, no worries. I may actually rebuild them maybe down the road uh, with more support. Uh, so yeah, you have your four Amon Astroth, uh, four Amons. Um, one of them is actually SP, it's kind of hard to tell, yeah, this one. One of these is X SP. Um, that's it for the grade threes. And then I do run the four, uh, like Doreen clone essentially for Legion, four Hell's Draw, and the three Gwyn the Ripper. Card's really good in the Astroth deck, um, just a way to enable the skill without having to use one of your rear guards using a mon's uh, ability. No, excuse me. And then you have your four perfect guards. Uh, four of one of my waifus, uh, you guys know, during the thruster. It's going to be really tough letting her go um, just because I had these for such a long time. But, you know, again, guys, um, sometimes you have to just make those decisions in life to let things go. Uh, you have your four Hell's Deal and then two Bloody Calf, just another target. Just another unit to draw into that's like Win the Ripper just to get a nice retire without using one of your cards and enables Astra skill. So it's actually a pretty good card to run the deck. And then you have your four Dark Knight of Nightmare Land, like the most expensive trigger in the game, probably. That's not hollow. I don't know. And of course you have eight crit, four Shirley's. I still like Shirley in the deck. Just another way just to add more power to your late game push and maybe get you to that magic number you need to in your soul. Uh, four Lolly Heals and your... Devil in Shadow. Uh, so that's it for that. So that's all the Vanguard decks uh, for you guys. And as for the Buddy Fight is concerned, um, yeah, it's going to run through the Buddy Fight as well. So first is my Danger Will deck. Um, this is not going to be the Ace build, uh, just because I never liked the Ace build uh, until like recently that they got a little bit more support, but I never got around to building it, of course. Um, but yeah, this is just a traditional Armanite like defensive control build, and I really, I still really like this build a lot. And you know, this deck actually won me a box tournament um, as well too. So yeah, I was able to actually find some success with this uh, deck as well. So yeah, uh, of course, obviously you get a Hollow Danger World flag. It'll have the Armanite Cerberus as your buddy. Um, you have the three Armanite Demons, uh, four Armanite Cerberus, three Medusa, three Armanite Golem. Um, then you have your four uh, Armanite Hellhounds, two Armanite Ogres, two Asmodai, two Succubus, uh, one Gargoyle. Uh, then you have your three Eagle, two Armanite Goblin, and one Armanite Tiger. Um, pretty basic lineup. Um, for monster spells, you of course have your four shields, three armor reuse, two phoenix wall. One of them is a hollow. Um, as far as my hollow cards in um, in buddy fight, I I'm not really gonna value them high at all or not at all because I don't value hollows that much at all to be honest. Um, two invigorating breath, one survival chance, one double guillotine, and four hysteric sphere, and three swirling darkness. One of them is hollow. Um, as an added bonus for you guys, uh, if I can find them, sorry, thought I was more prepared than this. Um, I do have like a combination of cards that I do have like as my side deck and everything like that. So I will include these for free for you. So I will not actually add any value of these cards to the price of the deck. So yeah, so uh, you'll also get all these Danger World cards along with this deck. So that's that. And then last but not least is my Legend World deck. I, I originally built this uh, just because of Excalibur. And if you guys like Fate Zero, you know, I'm a big fan of Saber. So, um, you know, this deck kind of reminded me of it. But again, you know, it's have to cut down on it. Um, so it kind of, I pretty much got uh, the full value out of it in terms of, uh, in terms of playability for me. So, yep. So you got the flag of your Legend World, obviously. And your King Arthur, I do have it. I do run King Arthur as the buddy. Durandal, I don't think he's good as a buddy. Um, four King of Forest, really good as a free gauge, um, which you'll definitely need in this deck. 
of course, four of your buddy, King of, Ar King of Knights Arthur. Uh, I personally like to call him Saber. Um, but then again, he's a male, not a female. So, anyways. Uh, and two. Uh, Karas. Uh, for twos. Then you have your three Merlin. You really don't need a fourth one. Honestly, in the deck, I think three is fine. But I do own a fourth one. If you do wish to have a fourth one, I will sell it to you at a very cheap price if you do wish to have that in addition to this deck. Um, then I do have four... Uh, Gawain, two of them are hollow. Four Gareth. Three Galahad. Two uh, Sylph, the fairy. Good just to pick up any useful items, which there are definitely a lot of in this deck. Uh, four Holy Grail, two of them are hollow. You have your four Heroic Spirit, one of them is hollow. Two Brethren Guard, or excuse me, three Brethren Guard, and two of them are hollow. Three Symbol Guard. Two Durandal, you all you need is two. Like I said, I don't really like him as the buddy, so two is perfectly fine. Three shield, best item, best item in the deck. Two Excalibur, uh, two Hunt Ring. This is actually hollow, and one Dragon Hate card, because and this is hollow as well. Uh, so yeah, there you have it, guys. That's all the decks I have for sale for you. Um, like I said, like everything that you see here, like on the screen, you know, they're all sleeved. Uh, my Vanguard decks are double sleeve. They will include a deck box and double sleeves as well. Um, so not to worry. They're pretty much going to be ready to play as soon as you get them. Uh, yeah, so like I said, guys, read the description below. And uh, if you're interested, definitely shoot me a message. Um, feel free to send me offers as well. Um, you know, like I said, like the prices, I try to keep at a pretty good price for you. So I'm pretty solid on my price. But honestly, if you give me a really bad super low ball offer i will most likely ignore you or ban you because one of my big, biggest pet peeves is like extreme low baller so please don't even do it as a joke i hate that uh, so yeah anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and and don't worry guys i will have some more deck profiles coming up for you um as always thank you guys again and i'll see you guys later